Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be reviewing the Tidal Lining Speed Speed Bag. All right. Now, um, I just wanna show you guys up close how it looks. It's a very beautiful bag. It's white, the black patch, right, around it. Uh, right, now another black patch down the bottom. This is for weight, right? Makes it give it a little heavy swing in the bottom. And this black patch right here around the bag is for when it hits it. You see it? Right? Supposed to have the bag last longer. Okay. Oh, hope that helps. Okay. Now, it's a half inch loop. Okay. Uh, the advantage of having this size half inch, um, it makes it for a shorter swing, right? A shorter swing means a, a faster uh, speed bag, usually. Okay. It's a beautiful leather bag. It's five by seven. Okay, so it's a small bag. And um, it's a little bit dirty, right? I've been using it. And uh, it has the red seams around. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how how it works, how fast it is. I'm not that fast. But I uh, should give you a little example. Okay. Alright guys, like I said, I'm not the fastest, but it is a fast uh, speed bag, right? It's very small, okay? The advantage of a small speed bag is that it's faster, okay? Which is called the lightning speed. Um, the problem with this bag is that since it is very small, their aim has to be very precise, okay? If you're not dead center with it, um, it throws the angle of the bag. Okay, gotta be dead center, dead center, right? Which is not always a bad thing, right? Because you gotta focus on your aim, but it doesn't give you any uh, leeway for any errors. Um, another bad thing that I noticed is that, you know, if you're using just your bare hand, you know, your hands do get red and they get kind of shaped a little bit. Um, shape with this patch and the red seams on the side, okay? Um, that's something that I don't really like, to be honest with you, because uh, you do feel it a little bit, you know? And if you're going for long rounds, um, your hands will get red, and, you know, it, it start to itch, start to bother you a little bit. Um, I'm hoping maybe because this is a new bag, maybe it'll wear down, and you won't feel as much, right? Maybe your hand will callous for lack of a better word. And and that's it guys, you know it's a small speed bag. I think it goes around $50, this bag. I believe that's what I bought it for. And um, you know, I have this on the Thrasher Swivel, the Evo 13. But yeah guys, it's a good speed bag, right? The black patch again, for the weight. But I do recommend this bag guys, it's not really a beginner bag, to be honest with you. There's more of a maybe like an intermediate advanced level speed bag. Uh, but if you just care about speed, this is really great, you know. Okay. Um, if you're into the speed bag uh, style, speed bag Bible style. Um, if you're new, this might not be the best size. Maybe even for some more of the advanced people. Because it is small and it doesn't give you any leeway, right? For elbows. Right? I suck at speed bag style. Bible style, I'm still learning. But besides that, guys, it is a good bag if you just care about speed, okay? Now, this is more for intermediate to advanced, like I said. But um, I do recommend it. You know, it is a good bag. I believe over time, you know, this, the, the seams will wear down a little bit so it won't bother your hands. And uh, that's it, guys. So let me know what you guys think of the speed bag. Um, what speed bags do you guys recommend? And what speed bags do you guys have? Alright guys? So make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Alright guys? Uh, peace out.